Hey guys and girls, it's DC here and today we're going to be going over the pros versus cons of contracting or full-time work in cybersecurity. Raise it up! start off with contracting because it's usually what a lot of people get into initially um, while they're studying or, or doing whatever it is they're doing. So a bunch of cons with contracting is that you don't get holiday pay. You are expected to know everything basically. Um, you're not really welcomed into the team uh, wherever it is you're working. So what I mean by that is as a full-time employee you you go into an organization and you you start working and you're you know you have an induction you're part of a team you go through all of the you know the flows of of working in that organization and becoming part of the team and part of the organization as a whole and there's there's a lot of hr processes in uh, onboarding which are to try and make people feel like they are included. As a contractor, you don't really get any of the sort of onboarding procedures. You're just sort of thrown into the deep end and then expected to really hit the ground running and you know, just get through it. Just do the work. That's what you're being employed there to do. At the same time though, contracting is good because you do get paid generally more money. Um, however, it is a far more stressful environment where you are obviously expected to, to know a lot more uh, about the the topic or that particular specialization that you are, are working in so just touching on full-time work um, I've, I've just become a full-time SOC team leader and um, it's good because I like I, I didn't have to do an onboarding though because I've already been working here for a year as a contractor now I've been brought in as a full-time employee um, so I didn't do any of that stuff, but and it, it is a very special situation, which doesn't always happen like that. But um, in government agencies, often if you can get a lower position as a contractor and then prove yourself really well, they'll then offer you full-time employment, which is a, a really nice way to go about things. Um, so some benefits already of working full-time is that I have the same wage every single week I just get paid the same. There's no, um, there's, there's nothing there. It's just the same. Um, that has its own downside though, which is that if I wanted to work more and earn more money, I'm not going to get it. I'm just going to get, uh, there's, there's no overtime pay in this particular agency. They just give you a thing called flex time, um, which is essentially you just take time off. So it's like time off in lieu. So yeah, that's sort of, like the, the main ones, I guess. There is more job security with working full-time um, as opposed to contracting. Uh, you're not sort of working towards the end of your contract, you're just doing the job that you're being asked to do and, and work through it. Um, like I said, I am full-time now coming from contracting, but um, I still have a time limit on how long I can work full-time here for. So they've given me until the, the end of this year to work. Uh, so it's still essentially a contract, but as a full-time employee of this government agency. So I guess if you, to sort of summarize how it goes, if you want to work as a, if you want job security and you want to be in that organization for a longer period of time, and by longer I mean like over one and a half to two years at least, um, then definitely full-time work is the way to go. But if you just want to make quick cash and you want a really high stress environment where you need to be on the ball 110% of the time, go for contracting. That's, that's sort of how I see it and that's how it sort of worked for, for me over the years um, of doing contracting. I personally prefer contracting because I, I enjoy that um, high stress situation where I need to get something done. I need to work it out immediately. And I really enjoy that, but um, I'm a bit weird, so <laughs> it's not for everyone. In other news, um, you may have noticed that I'm vlogging from a different car. Um, yeah, I got a different car. The Hacker Van is no more. Um, I want to make a video on that though, because it, it has been a great car to me over the years. 
and um, it's yeah, it's, it has a very special place in my heart. So I want to make a little video on the the War Driver Hacker Van, and um, yeah, I'll I'll see what I can do with that. But I'll also maybe make a video about this car. Um, I don't know if anyone's actually interested or not. Maybe I'll, I'll just leave it. I don't know. I still have a few videos coming up this week. I did a interview with a um, government security engineer. Yeah, that, that went quite well. So I'm still editing that. I just, I didn't have time over the weekend because I, I left for Melbourne early on uh, Thursday morning. Um, then Thursday night, I saw a live concert. Friday afternoon, I got back to Brisbane Then I went to a party. And then Saturday, I was sorting out this car. And Sunday, I was basically sleeping and eating. So I haven't had much chance to, um, to actually sit down and edit all of these videos that I've recorded, but they are coming, so don't stress. I guess I'll end this video on a, I don't know, like a little time-lapse sequence of, um, of my weekend. So enjoy the video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.